everybody, I'm Invisible Katana. Um, you know, the like, video kind of says it all. I'm, I, you know, I just got Loot Crate. This is the first Loot Crate I've ever had. I wanted to get it for a little while now. I was, I was curious. I found out about it last year, and I ended up finding a video on YouTube, which isn't hard to find because, of course, I'm making one now. But I saw a video of someone doing the unboxing for the December uh, Loot Crate, and I never really looked into Loot Crate, so I didn't know that they did, like, exclusive content and stuff, and they had, like, the, uh, Joker, Batman, um, pop figure, as well as, like, an exclusive comic book and stuff, so that kind of hooked me. It was like, well, exclusive items plus, you know, random items that I never would have come across if I didn't get the Loot Crate, so it definitely hooked me, so I'm really excited. Um, the theme for this month is Rewind, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love all the stuff that's in here, even if I don't love all of it. I'm sure most of it I like because I tend to like uh, older stuff. I, I like you know video games and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that it's a good first crate. I'm a little nervous because it's you know it's the first crate. But just starting it off. Oh, this uh, <laughs> just on the box itself is the Nintendo. Um, you know their first NES. So that's really cool. But right here. I don't know if you can really read it, even if it's in focus. It says, I got slimed. So that's pretty cool. And the exclusive shirt I already love. The exclusive shirt is Voltron. So that's automatic win for me, because I like Voltron. I'm not, like, super duper into Voltron, but I do like Voltron. Like, it's, Voltron's really cool. I like the style of this shirt. I like the, uh, just the sort of blue outline look to it. That's definitely really cool, so... Glad the shirt. That was kind of the big thing. I was wondering if I'll really like this shirt or not because it could kind of be anything nerdy and I'm not necessarily into literally every nerdy thing on earth. So that could have been a hit or miss for me. Fortunately, it's a hit. I love the shirt. So I'm going to be wearing that like crazy. Got some cool 8-bit sort of glasses. Wear my sunglasses at night. I'm going to have to play that song now. I can't see anything because the dark <laughs> sunglasses. But I do, I do like these. These are nice little 8-bit glasses. I'll definitely be using those at some point in the future to do tons of random crap. Uh, this is a comic notebook. So that's cool. 64 pages of never-before-seen action and adventure. So that's nice. Kind of just rip this open. Listen here. Packing a notebook for when inspiration strikes, cartoon tips, and tear-out balloon template for sight gags, character studies, and heroics. That's pretty nice too. Just like the little cutouts. There. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's not it. I thought that was the actual back though, just a slip. It says pow on the back. So that's nice. This is nice. This is actually really cool. It's like this notebook belongs to, it can be found at my secret identity is and my superpower is. That I definitely love. Hopefully that you know, even though it says it's in focus, I gotta New camera, I have no idea what you guys can really see or can't see. <laughs> the little cutouts here. So those are nice, you can just see right through them. And then there's all sorts of stuff, sound effects, you know, pow, wax, splat, zonk. And then all the typical uh, comic book stuff that you get to see. So that's pretty sweet, I like that. I'll definitely, I don't know if I'll ever write in this. Because I, I, sometimes when I get sort of books like this, I always like to keep them just to have them, but I never write in them because it's like, it's just, it's cool as it is, and I suck at drawing, so it's not like I'll ever <laughs> do anything worth uh, putting in there, so, yeah. This next little box, Black Tie Geek, I love this box. It's just simple. It's a black tie, and on the front is uh, Space Invaders, or I guess on the top, technically, and it's an actual... Space Invaders tie. Or I guess it's not actually Space Invaders, just the way it looked on top of the box to look like Space Invaders. This is really cool though. I'm definitely gonna wear this. I don't dress up often, but I, I got a black and white tie now. That's super nerdy, so that works. This ISO Analog Tendo. It's Loot Crate exclusive. Let's see, so Analog RIP Retro Inspired Products. That's pretty cool. And it says Doctor Who, because Doctor Who. <laughs> and I have to assume it's also a reference to, you know, Doctor Mario, which is why it's Nintendo. Oh. 
So that's really cool. Okay, so this is more than I thought it was. I thought it was like a little figure. This is actually like a stand. So it's like, you know, a little Doctor Who game, little curved cartridge. And it has um, the little, whoops, just dropping crap everywhere. It has the little zapper in here, which I love. I actually have the orange zapper, kind of, if I knew this was going to be in here, I'd probably have it in the video. But this is nice, and I'm going to have to put this together and put it somewhere and not lose all these little bits and pieces. I have the um, themed pin, so it's rewind. It's just a cassette tape, so that's really simple. Uh, the catalog, rewind, NES controller in the front, Legos in the back. There's something here. Oh, that's nice. Little NES controller. Sorry. <laughs> NES controller there. They got the comic book and the stuff, Ultron. And then they have to taunt every body who lost is the content inside of the mega crate which I saw um, on the website but in the mega crate for this um, month is an HP stream 13 laptop this giant freaking Voltron thing that looked really cool I saw a picture of that the the Lego Star Wars Death Star which is apparently four hundred dollars that's insane but it does come with a lot of stuff you can tell and I think the coolest thing is probably the fact that it comes with its own, like, DSLR camera. So, that's pretty cool. That and the laptop is just kind of like, you know, those are really big things to get. And it comes with the um, Hyperkin Retro N5 Retro Gaming System. Maza, if you're watching this, you already know what that is. And then it comes with Star Wars The Complete Collection on Blu-ray. So, that's really cool, too. Oh, they even have a quote from uh, Back to the Future, which I can't wait. I know they're going to have to... At some point, they're going to have to celebrate Back to the Future because it's 2015. I cannot freaking wait for that because I love Back to the Future. And then the Loot Crate exclusive comic book is Star Wars. And it, it would be hard to have a better cover than Han and Chewie. Unless it was like one of them with a lightsaber. Or just Luke. Anyone with a lightsaber, honestly, would, in my book, it, it's just cooler. But that's definitely nice. Um, 001 variant edition. And that, everybody, is Loot Crate. I'm definitely excited. I enjoyed my first, um, my first crate. I'm definitely glad it went well for me. Super glad that the t-shirt worked out, because that was the thing, like, you know, the sort of, I guess, big exclusive in a sense was the shirt. This, I really like, the little, uh, Nintendo cartridge. And it's got little feet and little arms on it. Mm, I don't want to break that. So I'll put that on later. Love this. Um, I, I'm going to be really nerdy and I may never open it or even touch it with my actual fingers. I don't know. But I love this one. Love the tie. Um, like I said, I don't ever, I don't dress up. So now every time I do, it's going to have to be like a, my nerdy tie. But I love that. Thanks for watching this video. I know there are like a billion of these out there. But thanks for checking out mine. Um, I can't wait for next month's Loot Crate. I'm excited for that. I don't know. Just to show that off again. Just it being a Nintendo is really cool. Once again, I have an actual Nintendo still. If I knew that... I should have known it would be like that. I figured something would have to do with games. And I was wondering how far back they would actually go. Because with it being Rewind, they could go back to Nintendo. Which they did. And that would be far enough. Or they could have gone back even further. And it could have been like, you know, Miss Pac-Man and Galaga and stuff. And I would have loved something from Galaga. Because that was like my favorite arcade style game. But thanks for checking this video out. Um, if you guys have any random comments or anything like that, um, please put them down in the comment section below. If you haven't gotten Loot Crate, check out some other unboxing videos, especially some of the older stuff. You can see some of the other crazy exclusive things. If you've had Loot Crate for a long time, tell me what you guys think about it, like how long you've been with it and your experience with Loot Crate and how much you liked it or maybe not liked it. In certain cases, I have to assume there are some months where you don't really get stuff that you're really going to enjoy and I could easily understand that like if I didn't care at all about this then that would be one of the things or if I was like oh a tie then that would be one of the things but thanks for checking this out please leave any comments down in the comment section below and thanks for watching all right so I was able to get the box and I worked with it and flipped it around and stuff I can't see anything so I just wanted to kind of show off the whole thing and 
kind of read off some of the extra stuff that's on here. Uh, I mentioned I got slimed. I didn't mention that it was Rad Dude on the top, reference the game. Uh, the Konami code is on here, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. It says enter, so start, but that's because it says enter on the um, controller. No, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. This, I have no idea what that's supposed to be, and I don't know if it makes me nerdier that all I think of is a pocket protector, which could be even nerdier than what it actually is, but that's that. And then, of course, Back to the Future, which I always have to mention, because I love Back to the Future. So, 88 miles per hour. I actually got my Nintendo out just to... I actually want power buttons in. My actually ugly, nasty looking Nintendo looks dirty. But I got my Nintendo out just to do that, and got my little Wii Zapper glasses on at night so just wanted to do that had to add it in because I had to of course flip the box around and do all that extra stuff and I love how just right it is like everything about it is just right all the where the little bits are and stuff the tiny little lines are like slightly off but that's so minuscule what does it really matter but it has all that it even has like the little um, divot that's right there it's like I said, it's slightly off, but you know, it doesn't really matter. It's on there, and it's just there's such funny detail that they actually put into this, and that's just really, really cool. So, I had to show that off, and I put the little guy together, my little Doctor Who, whoops, little Doctor Who um, Nintendo cartridge with this little gray zapper. So, that was it. Um, thanks for watching again. I didn't expect to actually add this <laughs> little part in, but. I've got, I had time, so once I add that in, thanks for watching, comments in, you know, comment section below, and thanks for watching for the fourth time.